Hi everyone, welcome to the Tiki Goth Club. My name is Ray, this is Jamie, and we're going to be talking about Goth Tiki Mugs. Hi, I'm Jamie, blah, 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 blah. <coughs> Jesus! I'm not even... you call? I'm not drunk. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the Tiki Goth Club. My name is Ray, this is my co-host Jamie. Hello. And today we're going to talk about some tiki mugs. Well, I don't know, are they tiki mugs? Are they goth mugs? Mm. Are they goth tiki mugs? Jamie, these are your mugs yes. from your collection. But before we go any further, let's talk about that. Are they tiki mugs? Are they not mug tiki mugs? Are they their own thing? What do you think? Well... I know different people have different definitions of what a tiki mug is. Yeah. There are some people who totally hold to the, it's only a tiki mug if it is shaped like a tiki, like a tiki. Yeah. Um, and then there's a broader definition where kind of any sort of carved and then molded beverage vessel is referred to as a tiki mug as more of like a blanket statement, not yeah. of what it is is but just sort of it's uh it's a genre um i kind of go to the the looser definition of a tiki mug i'm gonna call pretty much any sort of mug that has like a shaped face on it a tiki mug just for um you know it's just it's an easy term to use and, and, and i'll tell you what jamie i cannot stand technicalities <laughs> And you know I am the same. I am it, not a it, snob. It, because it gets... I can't, it, it, like, slice and dice everything so tiny. It's like, it gets like, old. I mean, like, even, like, when we're talking about when it comes to, like, goth and tiki or tiki goth, and people are like, well, what is that? And what does that mean? And it's sort of like, well, does it, does it have to have a specific meaning, you know? And no, also, it's like, um, there's two invented genres, and they're mashed together. So, how really, how specific can we get? The way I see it, I mean, if I'm going to talk about mugs or something like that, if it's a if it's a vessel that I'm I'm probably gonna drink a tiki drink out of it, then it's a tiki drink. And the thing is, like all all these mugs that we're gonna talk about today, and these are from your collection, mm -hmm. these would fit well with any tiki mugs that would be on a shelf. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I I have. I mean, what are you gonna do? You're gonna be like, okay, so hey Ray, this is my tiki mug collection, except this pineapple and that skull. Yeah, and I have um you know in my collection of mugs, which is by no means vast, but it has, you know, what super purists would consider tiki mugs on it, but it also has a bunch of other shaped mugs, including a toilet yeah. and a meatloaf. Those are like some of my favorites. So, <laughs> you know, my, my carved shaped mugs that I drink tiki drinks out of There's are all on the same damn shelf. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But this is all fun anyway. Exactly. So where do we begin? So... Take us on this tiki goth mug journey so kind of the reason that we're even doing this episode here today is i was inspired by my newest procurement okay um which was um this guy i i pre-ordered this is the um henry and glenn forever mug so this is neither goth nor tiki. <laughs> <laughs> but here we are. Um, Let me see this thing. <laughs> okay. So this, So you got this, Henry Rollins. Yes. On one side. And this is the most cutest version I've ever seen of Glenn Danzig Adorable in my life. Adorable Glenn Danzig. And he has the mesh shirt on with the upside down cross with the Danzig skull belt, belt buckle. buckle. Yeah. And then Henry's got like he has yeah, black, he black li tattoos. He literally has all the right. It's the tattoos are correct. He has like a shitty ass, uh, like a snake. He has the fiend, but it's bad, and it's even like faded. Like yeah. how is yeah. No offense, so Henry. Henry, please don't beat me up. <laughs> Henry, I hope you're watching. Um, so this mug was actually um, it is from Kindred in uh, San Diego. You gotta put it down because I'm just like flinging it around. Um, but this, I love this mug, um, and, and, you know, obviously these are like punk and sort of in dark metal guys, like this well, is... Well, well, hold on, I mean... Well, oh, do, should we, we should go back to like, what is Henry and Glenn Forever? Yeah, please. Okay. Um, well, so, well, hold on, even, okay. go, even going further back, for the, for the people that don't even know. Yeah. Henry Rollins used to be the lead singer for Black Flag. 
Yes. The seminal punk rock band from the 80s. And and this is Cartoon Henry Rollins. It's Cartoon Henry Rollins. Because it's just funny because like back in the day he was the most serious as a heart attack kind of guy there was. He's still kind of serious as a heart attack, but I think he's lightened up a little bit. He, he's lightened up in his old age. Yeah. And Glenn Danzig was the lead singer of The Misfits. And then he went on to Sam Hain, and then he went on to do solo. But as Danzig, as Danzig, and the reason why you probably can even th- thought about bringing this up is the fact that like Danzig brought in that whole horror element. Yeah, absolutely. And um, horror goth. I mean, the lines are drawn, but we you got two uh, complete. Punk rock icons, and, and, and then who someone take decide, themselves really fucking seriously. So someone's like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna take them not so seriously," and they started up this thing. So explain what it is. Yeah. So right around ten years ago now, um, an artist, Tom Neely, um, has. Um, I mean, it started as kind of just a little zine. Yeah. And it was Henry and Glenn Forever, and the premise of this particular story is that our two heroes. Um, are lovers and <laughs> they, <laughs> they live in who's the top and who's the bottom that's a good question but i think i have the answer um but they live in an adorable suburban home their neighbors are um none Ooh. other than daryl hall and john oates what who are satanists Hall and Oates are Satanists. Hall and Oates are Satanists. Henry and <coughs> Glenn are lovers. It's fucking adorable, really. I think there's three volumes now. Anywho, that's like 10 years ago, the little zine. Flash forward, during like... Okay, so as we film this, we're in like COVID lockdown 2.0. Yeah. Um, during the first lockdown... Um, Kindred announced their pre-sale for this mug. Yeah. And... Kindred is one of my favorite bars. I fucking love Kindred. It is a, they have tiki drinks. All their food is vegan and, you know, like pretty tiki friendly no, wait, where's you know, food. At? It is in San Diego. San Diego, okay. Um, All right. They, but it, it's not overtly tiki like when you go in there, but their drinks definitely yeah. are. And they do, they have a history of, of um, releasing tiki mugs. So that's kind of their thing. Um, it's sort of, it's hard to explain. Google it. Um, Kindred's amazing. But typically, I would have been down at Tiki Oasis in August. I would have been at Kindred. Um, And this year, of course, it didn't happen. And so when they announced um, the pre-sale for this mug, it literally could have been any fucking mug. Yeah. (laughs) I would have bought it. Um, But it was Henry and Glenn forever. And, like, so it was – I was – more than happy to send them, you know, money for an amazing product. But I really love that it was this particular story as well. Like I said, this is neither goth nor tiki, but definitely adjacent. I mean, I think, well, I well, think here's even a- goth as we know it wouldn't be the same at, if if the misfits hadn't existed. They were so well. They put Elvira on the map for me. Yeah, in in their I, I in would their be I would be lying like oh yeah I've always known about Elvira. No, I I, knew, I learned about Elvira because there was a song called Elvira Elvira from the Misfits. Really? Yeah, that's interesting. So, I didn't know about her until the Misfits that song. That is, and that's the song that got me into the Misfits because I'll never forget. I was listening to Walk Among Us. And I'm like, you know, 20 eyes. I'm like, okay, that's cool. And then, then the next one was like, you know. And then like the third or the fourth song in was like Elvira. And I'm like, oh, this this is great. Who the fuck's this Elvira chick? And then I first I saw this, I saw her. I'm like, oh, she's like copying Elvira. I'm saying Elvira. Wait, Elvira's copying Elvira. Or maybe Vampira. Vampira! <laughs> I'm talking about Vampira. Yeah. The Misfits got me into Vampira. <laughs> So you may be asking yourself, how can I join the Tiki God Club? Well, there is no membership. There are no fees. But I have shirts for sale. They're $20 a piece, $5 shipping and handling. If you're interested, go to my website, tikiwithray.com. There's a prompt that says, buy a shirt, follow that, and then that's how you can get your own. I but do. The, but the point of the matter is, if it wasn't for the Misfits, I wouldn't have known who Vampire was. And the vampire so, is like the, she's the godmother man. of t- of goth as far as I'm concerned. Absolutely, there's yeah. I don't. Mila Nermi. Mila Nermi. Dispute that. Mila Nermi. Yep. Yeah. Absolute queen. Um, but anyway, what I'm saying is like again, coming bringing back all the different things that I like. I, I mean, I love the Misfits. I love Black Flag. 
I love Gotham. I love Tiki and Suck. It's all coming. It all comes together. I love that we have, um, you know, this ability to mash literally everything we love wow. into one tidy fucking little package that I can drink out of. So our next mug, this one is um, like other end of the pendulum, super generic. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> but you, you know said what? it, not me. Yep. Uh, this is a freebie. <laughs> So this is a uh, Kraken rum, which, is, which is not the best rum in the world. It's a spiced rum. I it mean, is a it, spiced it, rum. But I'll tell you what, I mean, if you're into spiced rum, this rum has your name written all over it. Yeah. But it's a, the Kraken. Yeah. So they, um, they did like, like the a, crack, like HP yeah. Lovecraft, right? Exactly. They did like a gift package um, where you, you know, bought, and they, I think they put this out at Christmas. I think Christmas? they've done it two or three years. Yeah. Um, but it's, you know, packaged with a bottle of Kraken. And the great thing, what I really love about this mug, first of all, I mean, it's got the fucking Kraken on it. It's pretty rad. Yeah. Um, but the other thing that I like about it is because it's not as mm, dear as some of the other Tiki mugs, it's one of those ones that you can just sort of grab off the shelf and use and not really yeah. worry about. You can replace it for sure. Um, it also is, uh, it's got a lot of girth to it. It's a. I get that a lot. Packing. And this is a me thing. I do absolutely drink out of every single one of my tiki mugs. I don't care. I don't collect like the art ones. Um, this is Trader Sam's. Yeah. Which uh, which um, did you get this at Trader Sam's? Um, this was actually gifted to me, but no it, way. But it did come from Trader Sam's. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's the Trader Sam's. It's a this, zombie head, but yeah. um. Uh, I, I, it's funny because they change the glaze and the color like each mm -hmm. year. Because um, I have the I have a similar mug, but it's more like kind of like white and greenish. Yeah, and but I like this color. I like this blue. better. This is definitely more gothic. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's it's blue. It's got a black interior. It's a shrunken head. Um, also a little bit skull ish, I think. Absolutely. And it's, um, just it's like it's high cheekbones. And they um, have the eyes, the eyes shut. Like, yeah, so well, one shut. eye is sewn shut, and the other eye looks like it's open, but it still has stitching on it. Um, its mouth is sewn shut. So the great thing about this mug at home on my shelf, I had this tiny little plastic zombie that came from, <laughs> you know, those like um, you put a quarter in and a chicken like box around and then poops out an egg. Um, oh yeah, we've all been there. Yeah, so I had a tiny zombie from one of those, and it's like. And he hangs on the corner right here. And that's just sort of how I display it at home is a zombie with a zombie crawling out of his brains. Hold it's on. really great. Again, I mean, talk about combining loves. Oh, this is Disney. This is Disney <laughs> and horror. And, horror <laughs> and Tiki. And zombies and Tiki. Yeah, you got it all here. Nothing. I, th I think if there's any message that we want to give that we want to give out, it's like none of this is living in a vacuum. No. I mean, we're all inspired, I think, by every facet of our life works together. Like, we're not bento boxes, you know? All this stuff is like, you, you throw it in a blender and you swirl, swirl it around and you come out with some pretty cool shit, yeah. you know? And that's what I like about um, kind of the, some of these more like mashup things versus like these really, you know, regimented, it must be this, it must be that, or it's not this, you know, kind of thing. Like, I just, that that's not me and I'm not like, Poo pooing people no. that and, and know, here's that's the their and, style. And here's the thing, and, and just for the record, because we did it, we did a, a tiki with Ray episode on this. Our favorite type of tiki bars are the old school tiki mm -hmm. bars. The old school. That's what we like. That's our. That's our love. Super old school. Yeah. So it ain't like we're like. Well, we like that modern tiki. No, we're, we're <laughs> no, we, like, we like we like the we old like school. We like it dirty. We want a little layer of grime on. Stuff I want to get. I want to. I want to go to a tiki bar where I have to get a tetanus shot. To Pretty drink much. a to drink a zombie there, and when I say zombie, it's like in quotes, you know. <laughs> right, it's like whatever shit they swirl together. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Last mug, your prized possession here. This, and I'm going to be very very careful, but I'm going to hand it to I you. Trust you. No, I trust you. Well, here you go. <laughs> okay, this mug. This is the grass skirt, right? Yeah, this is from the grass skirt, um, which is a, a more San Diego. modern. Yeah, and it's a modern tiki bar. Um, but this this particular mug, I I love the juxtaposition of this sort of um, gothic element of a skull, um, tiki element of a pineapple, um, but also it's fucking bright, man. Like <laughs> you 
usually when like goth stuff, you're all like, it's all black. You might have a hint of red. You might have a hint of purple. Like, you know, these like dark colors. And this one, this is like the happiest fucking skull. Like it is bright turquoise. It is bright yellow. Um, it's cool though. And it's, it's totally really cool. cool. Like, I mean, I'm not going to get this tattooed on my forehead or anything, what, but what like, is, I what like is it. What I is don't that know. Anyway? It's a symbol. Maybe like the grass skirt logo. I don't uh, even know. I don't know. It's a symbol. Um, that does say the grass skirt San Diego on the back of it. Um, and yeah, so this is actually my very favorite mug in my whole entire collection. Yeah. And it is that that combo of bright colors, dark theme that I like. Because I think, honestly, you've known me for a long time. Yeah. I think that this is sort of, <laughs> this is me as a mug. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> Bright colors and creepy themes. <laughs> no, I, well, yeah, you're right. It, it's like this, this, this. Uh, you're right. I've known you for a long time, but it, not just you, but for like a lot of people. There's a lot of people I know and you know that are into tiki. They're into goth. They like the happy with the with the. With, they like the lightness with the darkness, mm -hmm. and a combination of both. And this actually is a kind of brings it all together actually it really does because yeah. i because i think the the skull is still pretty kick-ass i love that it's cheekbones are like yeah i like that carved through like you can kind of use them as sippy cup handles but it's a it's a skull that turns into a pineapple which is a tiki mug from i, I yeah. love it and it, it's from san diego which is like you know kind of a you know a bit of a, a tiki mecca you know is like in southern california is kind of where tiki was born so but I also like the, um, being a skull, like you can go back early Tiki days, you mm -hmm. know, with Trader Vic's, they've yeah, long well, there, there had was a that, skull mug. There was that skull mug, yeah. Yeah, and so, you know, the, the skull as a Tiki mug is actually, you know, from like kind of an original idea going way back to like first wave. Um, and, I, and I like that they carried that into, you know, now. I've always said this, and like when it comes to Tiki, what needs to be there? that slight element of danger and, and i think with shrunken skulls and you know or shrunken heads and skulls yeah you get that yes you do or you know giant octopi that will attack you <laughs> or their satanist neighbors no actually the most the <laughs> most frightening mug out of all of them is that is, is henry rollins and glenn danzig as a gay couple imagine them coming after you I think that... Mother! No! No! Please, no! 